More stones. Oh, I've dug a big hole as well. That doesn't look too straight, does it? But it's probably come on leaps and bounds since you last saw it. Mainly stuff. The good stuff. Future employees. Got a wee party of kids following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big breakdown. This is real work. this morning. Damn. Just as well we're not needing anything combined. Here we go, peering out of the mist. A blue tractor. I'm needing a weight on the front of this tractor. I'm doing wheelies with that thing. I'll go and put the stone grip on. Grab secured. I'm just going to put a stone on it for good measure. That's better. A bit of weight in the front and balance out a bit. Before I just touch the accelerator and wheelies. Anyway, we'll get going now. I've got no GPS button, sadly. Cup of tea had with my 1.9 litre flask. Didn't actually mean to buy it. Anyway, back to doing some discing. Keep driving in this. Oh, that doesn't look too straight, does it? But it's meant to be straight. Stone in there, it's. Oh, something in there, it's. The stone was stuck in the disc and it, you can see it built up pile there. Um, it was just kind of dragging a big clump of soil along the ground, but that's it. A wee bit of it done. A lot of it to go. It goes up and over and down the hill. Um, stone grape, just going to go and empty it up at the yard, because um, so it's kind of full. Tell me what you think about the quality of the videos now, if you think they're better, um, in terms of like how it looks, because I've changed the settings on my phone and should be a lot better so if it's better put it down below so you can compare the kind of last two or three videos to ones before that since i've emptied the grape on the front the kind of Steering's really light on the front, it does nothing because there's no weight on that front end. Drill's been going fine so far, touch wood, keep everything moving. Just stop for a bite to eat, anyway, going again now. It's kind of, sun's out now, dried off the surface and it's a lot less sticky. Gives way to fill back up the seed, the hopper's empty obviously. Another load of stones. We had an absolute belter of a pile last year, which are all now under the new shed. Future employees. I don't know if you can see care from there, but this disc has got these stones stuck in this disc again. They start to they bind up these stones. These discs don't. Everything's going fine, it's about half five, six o'clock now. We'll go till about eight or so. We've got a good chunk of the field now. Conditions are a lot better than they were. Um, it's dried off, it was quite wet this morning. There's a stone there. There's quite a few stones in this field. These two levers I've got set up to control the grape on the front. So this one here moves the whole, um, the bottom two arms up and down, so the whole uh, grate moves up and down, and then this one controls the top link, and um, there's a ram on the top that then allows it to pivot, so if that's the point um, of the grate, you want them to go under a stone, you drop the whole thing down, and then this lever lets you tilt it back and forth, you tilt it down, scoop it up, tilt it back, we'll fix it up. So the disc there, five sets of legs on the front there, a few inches below the soil, break up the, the first layer of soil, and you've got two banks of discs. The first bank of discs that um, kind of break up the soil further, push it to the left. Second bank of discs, break up again and shift it to the right this time. And then you've got the packer at the back that levels all off, doesn't leave it kind of in ruts or anything like that, flattens it all off. The best possible chance of making a good seed bed is if the drill is coming into nice flat, loose ground. So that's what we're doing with the discs, making a nice 
level surface so it's also quite free and not full of chunks of soil. It's getting on a bit now, about half seven, by about half eight all the lights have gone. There's a car up there, dad dropped me off a vehicle to get home. So I'll leave this here at the yard in the machinery shed. More stones! Oh, I've dug a big hole as well. This is my third great fall of stones. Not been too bad, but there's another one. Question of the day today. What are you listening to? So, like for me, I'm sitting in a tractor right now. Today I've listened to about eight hours of podcasts because there's no sport on because it's a Wednesday. Weekend I'd listen to sport normally. So if you recommend any podcasts, put them down below. Just finished up. Heading home now. Park up at the yard. Kev's up there just parking up. And um, I'll give him all the I'll give him a lift home and then I'll head home as well. And here's my dog. Stay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Get it. Really nice morning. Sun shining. Blue skies. Today I'm going disking again. Should be just a bit disking most of the day. I'm gonna give you a quick update inside this shed. Haven't done it for a while. It's probably come on leaps and bounds since you last saw it. And this is a refrigeration unit for the pizza container. Everything kind of vertically has been wooled and a lot of it's been sheeted as you can see. And then that's all to get sheeted all the way around as well. And then the roof, he started wooling this part. That part needs to be wooled all the way back here needs wooled. Sparkies have been out, put in wiring here for sockets. So we're gonna have a set of sockets there, set of sockets there, set of sockets there, and then in the office we've got loads of sets of sockets. He's also put in wiring for the lighting. So here, uh, and a few bit points along there, and one point over there. This is the office, so that's going to be a window. A door there and it's going to be kind of an L shape separate to get into here. There's plug sockets ready to go in all of these cables. So there's going to be kind of 10 double sockets in here because the office over there where we've got all the setup for the shop um, is going to shift over here in part time because there's changes happening over there. So we'll shift everything into here, we think run the office from here and then swap back once that's ready and then this will become the office space for the store kind of organizing it keeping things under control keeping stock levels right so that's what this will be used for there you go there's a dog eating some wood what are you eating come on what was that some paper nice anyway go feed the cows dunk's heading off there with the plow jumping on the discs okay has got the drill over there from the wood over to here, this is what we got done yesterday. So we'll get a good big chunk of what's left done today and that'll be, leave a wee bit for tomorrow. Seagulls, how do they know that we're turning up the ground and there's worms? And where do they come from? I want to know. And we're near the sea. The guy who came up with the legislation to ban the crows and the pigeons being shot then in England, if you weren't under a license, he got pigeons and crows sent through his letterbox, I think. Dad's so just brought along a nut and a bolt, and there's a bit on the drill that keeps wiggling itself loose and falling out, so I've lost one. So I'll put a new one in. A bolt down the bottom there. The bolts come out, the nut just sits there, but it's kind of inserted. So this one should be working, should be despair. Phone died there, but anyway, the new bolt's in, laddered it in Loctite so it doesn't fall out this time. It's just basically holding the bar on the back. It's a frame that holds the tines at the back. It holds the tram line indicators, the markers for the tram lines as well more awkward telegraph poles. There's one, two, three, four, five, eight in this field, in a row, the wee ones. I don't know what we have paid for the wee ones, won't be much though. 
so this was a field of oilseed rape and um, we got this kind of just soon after it was cut and then that allows uh, any volunteer rape seeds to sprout which you can see all the green there that's them and they've all germinated and starting to grow and then we disc it again to disturb the ground before we sow it and then it'll be sprayed there'll be a wee bit of glyphosate added into a pre-emergence spray and um, to kill off any of these that will reseed glyphosate is a contact spray so you can spray it into the ground and then the oats will come up uh, behind that and it won't be affected by the glyphosate but anything living on the surface there that's green that gets contacted by it will die off lunchtime there's my peace box mayonnaise tub just dropped off another load of stones there and um, i'm now on to the end rig of this field kev's just the way around the poles working his way around that one um, so we kind of split this field into two this section of the field we saw in that direction and that bit we saw in that direction so this is the kind of peel off bit so i'll just finish the end rig and we'll complete this section as kind of its own field and then we'll do that separately as, a, as effectively a different field but there'll be no gap between the crop shifting into this part of the field now so you can see kev's taking his gps off the line so he'll make the tram lines 12 meters from that center line on the poles so they'll end up over here and over here. So the sprayer goes down there and back up there. Light starting to fade. Dunk's just back there. He was plowing along the road. Needing to stop for fuel, but I will be fine. It's about half seven. Finish at eight. Be fine till then. I'll get filled up. I'm going for diesel. It's getting drastic. The good stuff. We'll get all those oats finished tomorrow. Kev's just about finished there tonight and then on to wheat. So we'll start wheat on Friday, Saturday. So it's Friday tomorrow, we'll get the oats finished. Saturday, we'll start the wheat. Not quite sure, maybe 10 days of wheat sowing. Something like that. That's me packed up. Switch off for the night. 